the mamas and the papas came over one time. Oh, really? Yeah. Did you record together? No. They just came over one night. John and Michelle <clears throat> came over one night in the 70s. Uh-huh. Little Richard came over. Really? Yeah. Oh. Slide from the Family Stone came over. What? Okay. You got to tell me about that. I remember. I just know he fell asleep on the couch. <laughs> I think he was snorting cocaine. Uh-huh. And he fell asleep? Yeah. <laughs> Did he come over to party or to record or just to visit? Just to visit. The, what was the vibe? Jerry Melcher brought him over. Okay. To visit. Sly seemed like a cool cat. Who, Sly? Yeah. Yeah. He was good. Oh, yeah. Hot fun in the summertime. Oh, man. Heavy duty. Is this the house where Elton came over? Yeah. Going to Brian Wilson's house with Danny Hutton with Three Dog Night was just the most amazing, surreal trip for me. Here we are in Brian Wilson's house, who we used to lay on the floor and listen in our headphones to all his beautiful music. It was one of the most moving nights of my life. And he tried to sell me his piano as well. (laughs) But um, at that time, he went through such a dark period of his life. So Bellagio is kind of where things got difficult for you, huh? Yeah. What was going on? Uh, I was just kind of lonesome and, you know, I hung up in my bedroom for a while. What were you staying in your bedroom for? I don't know. I was having mental problems. Yeah. Brian just threw away the rule book, just took you out of where you were and took you to another place. There was no greater world created in rock and roll than the Beach Boys. I don't think anybody's touched it yet. The fact that he's still here and making music, that's a miracle, kind of, isn't it? That must have been a really exciting time. It was. Was a trip. Those were my teenage years.